we say there's a lot going on all the time, and there is. There's a lot going on, but I thought most of it was exciting. Uh, I don't care for their women's stuff, not you know. So no, that always brings that's it down. That's the only for thing me. that's still holding them back, man. Yeah. And the Big usual, time, like I, mean. I don't really care for Jungle Boy. I don't really give a shit about Cassidy. Um, Darby's one wins me over a little bit more and more each time. But it, it's an exciting show, just depending on what you're looking for. Maybe you oh, know okay. they're getting but better. Let's let's better before better. we roll out Disco. Let's talk real quick about this report today, and I want to see your thoughts on it. That there's been a report that Brock Lesnar has signed with a company that is not WWE. So do you think that they could be bringing in Brock with Punk and Brian as like a, a trio, let's go f*** everybody up, NWO style kind of thing, or you think Brock signed with an MMA company? Was he signed with a, is it a company, a, res, a combat company? They didn't make it clear. They just said he is signed with a company other than WWE. Uh, <laughs> Maybe he does a New Japan run again. Nah, no, I don't, no I don't even think it's wrestling. I just think it's a company. I'm gonna. I'm like somebody was, doing some, something. I'm going the other way. Somebody was saying yeah. um, that he might be fighting Fedor in Bellator, like a one fight deal in October. Oh, wow. One oh, fight man, that, and yeah, be that, done would be yeah, kind of cool. It would be awesome. Two of the biggest draws in heavyweight MMA history. It's it's all, sure. it all depends on the money. If they brought him in with Daniel Bryan and CM Punk, I mean, it's a WWE takeover, yeah. and you wouldn't want that on your own show. I mean, and you're not going to beat it, those but, three but, guys, but. but it was a WWE takeover when it was and, all Nash and Hogan, too. And, and what, what do you happened. do with Lesnar? Is he just going to fight Omega and have Omega beat him? Or, I mean, Maybe I don't see gonna, him gonna buy being that? willing. Gonna yeah. that. Maybe well, down the line. I don't line. think Brock would allow in his contract for him to be beat. You know what I mean? I don't like, think he cares so, about wins. No, nah, he's he lost. just cares about money. But I'm just saying money. believability. I yeah, don't think it's so. believable. But I mean, Omega if you're Brock Lesnar right. and Vince Not says, this Omega. if you're Brock Lesnar and Vince says, you know, here's here's your typical three million a year. I need you to work five matches or whatever. And Tony Khan goes, I'll give you five for ten or something like that. Brock's going to go where the money is. So if Khan made him a big offer, I'm not going to be surprised if he shows yeah, up. Yeah, you, you, know. you may be right, man. I could see him definitely taking the money because that's what he's about. But and then that's I another... Mean, if you're going to have him and Omega, I would rather see a, him as the heel. Omega is yeah. the, that baby face that won the world over in New Japan, basically. Yeah. And that that was the Omega I always wanted in, yeah. on Dynamite even. But uh, They'll get back that's the only there. way I could see that going, go, going good. All right, so uh, anybody got any last questions? Yeah, any chance of you ever working with AEW? No. <laughs> no? Nothing? I turn work even, if you, even if you got, like, a good offer or something? Well, if it, if it was worth it, yeah. I think, here's no, what I, I think they, they should do. For, for I, F- think he was, for, I think he was asking JoJo. I think he was asking Feeney. It could be. Oh. <laughs> maybe I'm taking it. Maybe I'm taking <laughs> a check. Maybe I'm taking it. I could be taking a check to put the show over. You don't know. I'm doing, I'm doing a... There's a show... Uh, <laughs> so in Vegas, the weekend in Vegas, I'm doing a sh- uh, at twelve o'clock. There's a, a, a thing at Space where it's called a vintage wrestling clothes shirt swap meet. Yeah, so I saw it. old vintage clothes. And I'm gonna go and sell my stuff there, right? So no. then after that, I'm going. Joey DeFalco is running a show. That little Friday son of a. That little son of a. <laughs> I'm gonna go work yeah. that. <laughs> then on Saturday at noon before SummerSlam, um, I'm working the GCW versus FSW show. Oh no. Can you wow. get it? Can you get a drop? Wow. Can you get a drop from KG? I'm going to get a drop from KG. Absolutely. There you go. <laughs> Hopefully, I get an interview with KG. Yeah. I, wonder, I seriously wonder how he'd, he'd react to you. Like, no, I'm not. I doing would love that. to hear an interview after I called him out on that uh, high spots auction site, and he wouldn't even mention it. He, yeah. he re- referred to himself as being in the Gigolos, not the K100 guy. That's a part guy. of that's and, a part of his past and and yeah. career or whatever that he doesn't reference. So yeah, he he wouldn't <laughs> acknowledge it at all. I was like, what a but here, here's what I think. Here, here's my idea. Since you mentioned AEW, here's my idea for what they should do okay. for F- FTR and Tully getting it, getting that Conan right. So you go backstage at AEW, and there's a podcast studio set up. There's a K100 <laughs> show being recorded, and me and Disco are there. And Tully and FTR beat the sh- out of me and Disco to get at Conan. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't sell the sh- out of you. <laughs> just, just no sell it. I, I, I wouldn't sell it. <laughs> 